So the question of the day is, what if life were more like a film? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, the only thing we get to keep, the only thing we get to know, <laughs> and I say this as my eye is shaking, the only thing we get to know is our own interior world, the contents of consciousness, which are much more like cinema than like objective reality. I mean, at the end of the day, consciousness meets its own process with cinema. Cinema is consciousness externalized. Cinema works more like the mind, as Hugo Merstenberg used to say. Cinema reflects mankind's historical drive to manifest his consciousness outside of his mind in front of his eyes, said Gene Youngblood. Right? The close-up represents attention. The flashback represents memory. The kind of foreshadowing shot represents us thinking about the future. In a way, the techniques of editing mimic the mind's internal processes. They mimic the way that we experience the world. Life is a movie. When we learn to pay attention to these processes, we can start to steward them. And this stewardship of internal life all of a sudden makes you realize that you can be the author, you can be the screenwriter, you can be the director, you can be the choreographer and set designer, or you can be one of the co-stars and you can cast your friends to weave together worlds of mind and meaning that are better than any film that's ever been made. In fact, they'll be so powerful you'll want to film it. You'll want to tell the story in cinematic form to portray to others what the experience was like from the inside. Any obsessed visionary director will say that they will labor away decades to try to convey what it felt like, what it was like from within. This is the film maker's attempt. This is his effort, again, to mimic internal mental processes in conveying intersubjective happenings to share them with other minds. I love cinema, you can tell. What do you think, Mr. Goodman, of the cinema speech? I'm living it and nice. seeing it. This is a great view. Good.